Have I ever been in a remote drop? I think the dark night probably is for some people. No question about that. And that's what I wanted to kind of hit with you before I let you go, especially since for those, you know, we're on a simulcast on radio to describe your your your, your light, the way it's kind of hitting you, your yeah. half your face is in light and half is in dark. I've been, I feel like I've been having an interview with Harvey Dent this entire conversation. This entire time. Right on that, but yeah. It has been very um uh you know, and we do have Christopher Nolan's coming on the show next week. What was that like working with him? Uh tell him I said hello and thank you. Uh of course. you know the the thing that I that, that I reflect back on that movie was Chris came from independent movies and I still do them. Um, you know, obviously he's blown up. Uh, I mean, he is the director in Hollywood. I mean, he is the guy. But he runs his movies like independent movies. They're small. He runs it. Everybody stays on set. There's not a lot, in, in my experience, there wasn't big catering. There's not, you know, people don't run back to their trailers and isolate. Um, they're expected to be on their set. They're expected to be there when you need them and work. Chris, um, I don't know if he still does it, but every day he'd wear a a vest, a three-piece suit, and he had a, you know, his his watch, you know, in his pocket right here. I mean, he's Alfred Hitchcock. Um, he is an auteur, and he has a complete command. I remember one time I said to Chris, <laughs> we were in England, and we were in one of the largest hangars in the world. There's two of them right next to each other. I can't remember what they're called, but Harry Potter films there. And we had three of the largest green screens in the world working at the same time right there. And I said to Chris, without mentioning this, green screens. I said, Chris, you know, we ought to do an action movie one day. And he looked at me strange and he goes, what do you think we're doing? <laughs> and I kind of looked around at the three largest green screens in the world. I looked at a, a, a railroad car that's going to crash into this or the Batmobile and everything. I go, oh yeah, we kind of are doing one. What was that scene uh, like with you and Heath Ledger in the hospital? What was that like? It was an interesting spell, uh, scene. Uh, they were setting up uh, the crew was setting up all the C stands, the lights, all that sort of stuff. And so I went and I got in bed and I must've been in bed an hour or two before, you know, and just watched them and everything and getting used to, cause I really didn't know what I was going to do. And, um, and then all of a sudden I see Heath come in from uh, the side there, didn't say anything. And he's kind of talking to himself and flicking his, flicking his hands. Again, they're, you know, walking around, walking around and setting stuff up. And then he starts walking around the bed like this, not saying anything to me, not really looking at me. And I'm looking at him. He walks around a few times, kind of just like this. And then the time he gets on this side, he flicks his arm out like that to me. And then he walks around and he looks at me strange this way. And then he comes back over and he did the same hand movement. I grabbed his hand. And we did that for however long they were setting up we we just did this dance together and then before you knew it we were so connected that all of a sudden the crew just sort of did their thing and they left and we went into it and by that time we had done it so many times without speaking or he would say something that wasn't even scripted and then all of a sudden we just did the scene and it was beautiful and then the, the thing that I liked most about that was we were walking out after a hard day's work. It was very emotional and we were tired and we we're walking out and he put, he puts his arm around me and he goes, that was a good day's work. And for an actor to say that to another actor, especially where Heath was going, because I remember in rehearsal or somewhere, I said to Gary Oldman, one of the best actors the world has today, Gary Oldman, great actor. I said, Heath's doing something special. And Gary goes, yes, he is. So everybody knew it. And, and even I remember talking about Chris, talking to Chris about that. He goes, Heath is doing something very special here. And um, we were all privileged to be around him watching that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.